While Donald Trump is slated to head to trial in March for his role in the attempted coup, Tario, who is 39 years old, will spend the next 22 years behind bars for trying to carry out a conspiracy to steal the election, overthrow the government, and keep Trump in power. Attorney General Merrick Garland released a statement saying, quote, Today, the leader of the Proud Boys, Enrique Tario, learned the consequence of conspiring to oppose by force the lawful transfer of presidential power in 22 years is 22 years in federal prison. Tom Jackman is a reporter for The Washington Post. He was actually at the courthouse for the sentencing, and he joins me now. Um, Tom, take us inside today. I was getting dispatches from some of the reporters in that media room where you were watching the proceedings. It seemed like a long process and like the judge had a lot to say. Well, it was four hours. It might have been the new world record for longest sentencing in one of these cases. And uh, the judge did have a lot to say. There was a lot of talking that went on in this trial, not by him. So here was his chance to say, I don't think this guy feels sorry about what he did. As you mentioned earlier, uh, Tario did stand up and say, I apologize to law enforcement. I apologize to the people of Washington, D.C. The people of the law enforcement people are heroes. And the people of Washington didn't deserve to have their city turned upside down. And after he was done, the judge said, I, I think we're talking past each other. I don't <laughs> think I've heard any remorse from this guy. He's not addressing the whole seditious conspiracy thing, which he didn't. That, that's striking. And, and, and it, you know, we had the, the news last week of Dominic Pozzola, who uh, said he was sorry, that it was a mistake. And I think he might even shed a tear or two. And oh, then he cried a lot. He cried a lot. And then once it was once it was done, uh, you know, after he had his 10 year sentence, he yelled Trump won. We also have that's right. Uh, we have uh, Joseph Biggs, who is on InfoWars. I want to play him, too, because this gives you a sense of the preamble to this judge <laughs> deciding to take their time. Uh, this is Joseph Biggs on, on InfoWars Saturday calling for a pardon. Take a listen. Oh, I know he'll pardon us. I believe that with all my heart. You know, the, the thing is, is hopefully getting him, uh, you know, for him to be able to get into the position where he can at least be I think on the ballot to run right because once you have one minute remaining, but I do believe that Donald J. Trump will pardon us, and he should. We didn't do anything, you know. We're we're his supporters. We went there like he asked. We didn't do anything. I, I wonder, you know, how much you can't read the mind, but that was an interesting context given what this judge decided to do today. Did you hear that recording that said you have one minute remaining? Yes. That's the recording you get when someone calls collect from jail. Yep. So he only had one minute left in that interview. Uh, right. These people have been waiting for Trump to save them for a long time, and they may be waiting a lot longer. Uh, but that's definitely their their last best hope. Uh, but in the meantime, they're going to be spending time in prison. Big's got 17 years. He was, you know, on the front lines that day with a bullhorn directing people through the police, into the cap. 